What's up Wanders? We're back again for another install and today we are installing the Yodiverse Snorkel. Here it is right here. Uh, if you guys don't know much about snorkels, basically for you trimmed fender guys, uh, you have an exposed uh, hole on your passenger side where your air box is. Now we've been running a cold air intake for a while. We still are today. We will be switching back here soon, but basically uh, having clean air from that hole and not having it plugged up after trimming the fenders is a huge plus. So let's dive into installing this snorkel from Yodiverse. Once we've got our fender taped off here, step one, we're gonna take our template here. Now a lot of you guys are gonna think that it's on this white side, which is what we thought too, but it's actually gonna be on this brown side. So you're gonna actually line this up directly with your fender on the side here, this top piece with the top of your fender, and then we will tape everything off and mark our holes and then pray that we did it right. All right, once you guys get this lined up on, this template lined up on your truck, we're basically going to hold this down, mark our holes with a Sharpie. We'll take this template off and then we'll get to the fun drilling and cutting of your nice Tacoma fender. All right, once you guys have your holes marked and your big hole marked here, we're gonna center punch each one of these little holes here. And we'll start with a little drill bit and then work our way up to make these holes as big as uh, the holes on the template to uh, install the snorkel. Once you've drilled six holes in the old template spot, we're gonna work on the big guy next, which everyone dreads. I'm currently dreading it myself, but we have a Dremel here. We have our fancy smancy Elvis safety goggles here. So we're gonna go ahead and cut into my truck yet again. So now we're getting to the install portion of the snorkel. So if you guys have trend fenders, a lot of you guys I know have capped these holes off right here. So no uh, mud uh, gets in the way. We ran a cold air intake, so we're not gonna install this with our stock intake today. But basically we're taking this old cap off underneath the fender liners and obviously with trim fenders we don't have fender liners so you'll have to work with it if you guys do have fender liners in there but uh basically we're gonna mount the snorkel in it'll go through the air hole here and then you'll mount it up to your uh oem uh air intake box and we'll go from there Okay, now that we've got our rubber piece on here, we're basically gonna fit the snorkel in and then we will clamp it down with the clamp here and tighten everything up. Once you guys get your snorkel on, we're gonna take this tube here and we're going to line it up with the snorkel itself and then we will clamp this guy on right here. You can just use a Phillips screwdriver or you can use a seven millimeter uh, bolt and tighten her up. Once you guys have everything hooked up and connected, all that's left to do is throw this guy up top, make sure that he's level and straight on, and then we will tighten this clamp right here. Thank you. 
Well, there you guys have it on the Yodiverse snorkel here. I would say give yourselves an hour, hour and a half uh, if you're handy to install it your guys, your guys' self there. Now, granted, we didn't have to connect everything to our OEM uh, air intake yet, but we will. Um, but all that you guys will have to do on the inside of that rubber bracket there is just clamp it into the OEM air intake there. So hopefully you guys like that install. We are super stoked with how this guy looks. And yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, check out all of our overland adventures. And until next time, we'll be wandering. Dope.